The Flames moved to 3-0 and with the 28-7 win over North Alabama. Alongside Joe Yock, I'm Matt Warner. Joe, anytime you get a win without your starting quarterback, no need to apologize. You'll take it any way you can get it. A win's a win is a win. But uh, Liberty also did a lot of really good things. They did a good job passing the ball in the red zone. Chris Ferguson didn't put up great numbers, but you look at his red zone passing, was able to throw three touchdown passes. And so overall, there are a lot of really good things to build on both offensively and defensively. Take a look at some of the highlights from this ball game. And it was a low scoring affair. This was a big play early on though. Trace Sean Clark kicked out of the game, ejected for targeting. Blake Deaver, the quarterback, starting QB for UNA, knocked out of the game, got stitches under the chin. He would not return. So that obviously wasn't a great thing for UNA. Meanwhile, Liberty's quarterback, Chris Ferguson, making his first start as a flame, connecting with Demario Douglas for the touchdown. Made it 7-0 Liberty midway through the second quarter. Low scoring affair. Anthony Butler and the Liberty defense would help keep it that way as UNA missed a field goal right before the half. 7-0 Liberty on top of the break. Second half, Ferguson found DJ Stubbs leading receiver on the day in terms of catches. That was a touchdown there to make it 14-0. And one more time in the red zone, Brody Brum, three touchdown tosses for Ferguson. Yeah, good job in the red zone with the receivers going and making plays, especially the one to DJ Stubbs. He had to climb the ladder on that play and make a great touchdown catch. And UNA was knocking on the door a lot on the day. Parker Drigger is a big part of that, 55 yards rushing out of the Wildcat formation. But turnovers also haunted them, as well as this, this Flames pass rush, six yeah. sacks on the day for the Flames as they got to the quarterback. And they're able to do it usually with a three and four man pressure. Field goal attempts, no good. Kicking game wasn't great for North Alabama as they had some opportunities, but they would finally punch it in in the late stages of this ball game after this interception. First turnover of the year for the Flames, KJ Smith with the pick, and eventually Parker Driggers would find pay dirt as that would be your final 28 to 7 Liberty Flames for victory. Yeah, good to see them finally get in the end zones. A well executed play. They're very committed to the run. So good, good game. Flames will look to move to 4-0 next week here at Williams Stadium, 12 o'clock kickoff against Louisiana Monroe.